What's up, YouTube? Joseph Stalin here. Mm. What is up, you guys? And welcome back to another video. What's up, YouTube? Back again with another new video. Uh, yeah, what's up? It's been a long time. Haven't been on camera, I think, since October, November time frame. Been quite a little while. And I know we've gained a pretty significant amount of subscribers since then, since I've been doing the audio only video. So this is what I look like. I know, very disappointing, very unappealing to look at. I look like the Lego uh, vampire minifigure, as I've been told, and a variety of other uh, characters that I do not wish to mention right now. But yeah, I mean, here I am. I filmed this video like two or three times already. Uh, the first two ended up all pixelated and distorted. I don't know really know what happened, but the files were corrupt. So if that happens again, I'm honestly just gonna upload it because, you know, we do the bare minimum on this channel. But yeah, you guys apparently wanted me back for whatever reason. The Ford hat is um, packed away. I did intend to uh, move actually, but it looks like my plans are kind of at a halt for now. So I have a bunch of stuff packed in boxes. So unfortunately I will not be able to show you absolutely every new pickup that I originally had to show you, but I got some stuff here, some stuff on the floor, some stuff right there within arm's reach. So I figured might as well just show it now since I've been saying that I was gonna show this since like November. But anyway, first thing we got here is a tee from At The Moment. You guys already know I've shown plenty of At The Moment stuff on this channel before. And this is the Roses tee, which is apparently a really popular item on his website. He's been pretty much consistently selling out of this. So if you do want this, I would suggest not sleeping on it. Uh, I got this in a size medium and I would say it fits like, you know, your normal standard graphic tee, pretty true to size. And uh, yeah, I mean, I really like this tee right here. On the front, it has a quote from uh, the band Poison. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Poison, but if you are, uh, you probably also remember uh, Rock of Love on VH1. Like, well, how old is that show? Like 14 years ago? I don't know, I'm old. Also, sorry, the TV is in the background. I attempted to hide it instead of just like taking it off like I usually do. Obviously, I didn't do a good job of hiding it, but whatever. Next, we got another at the moment tee. This is a long sleeve. This is the beautiful madness graphic. And this is personally one of my favorite graphics that uh, my homie John has released in probably, like, I think this was like his winter time frame is when he released this. This is my personal favorite out of the bunch of stuff that he did release around that period. And I know some of you guys have already copped this, but this is a navy blue long sleeve. And this also fits true to size. For some reason, I don't know why, I'm going to get off topic a lot. A lot of you who remember watching me in the past probably know this, but it feels so weird to be on camera right now. It's not that I don't like it. I don't really mind it. Don't really care to be on camera personally. But yeah, it's weird because like I said, I think my last eight videos were audio only with a little picture of me here and there. And this is actually something I wanted to show you guys a long time ago. It is an at the moment side bag. I don't think this is currently available on his site. I think this is actually sold out as of like September or October. But if there are any left, I will be sure to leave a link to any of this stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just a pretty dope bag, all handmade in the United States by my homie John himself. Highly recommend checking this out if it is available. If not, I'm sure there are other bags because he has released, I think, two or three other ones that are of similar look to this one. But yeah, really dope bag. Use that one quite a lot. Uh, next, uh, oh yeah, wait, hold up. Right here, brand new black trucker jacket. I actually got this in a size small because nowadays every time I buy like a denim jacket or something, it's advertised as oversized. I don't know what it looks like like right now on camera, but I promise you this is actually pretty restricting as opposed to my usual oversized garments. Uh, but yeah, also I got this little cheap little ring. I don't even remember where I got this from, but it's a little skull ring right here. You probably find shit like this on Amazon to be honest. And next I got this, uh, Fucking Mickey hoodie. Oh my god, he's showing a Mickey Mouse hoodie? Unsubscribe. You don't know anything about high fashion. Honestly, I just like the way this, this hoodie fit. But I kind of am really confused with these. This is actually like an H&M hoodie that I saw that was on sale. And it was, it said size small. I didn't think that this would be oversized. 
And then I tried on a medium and that thing looked like a dress on me. Like all I needed was a tight pair of fucking Lululemon leggings and I straight up would have looked like every girl on a college campus had I been wearing this in the size medium. Got it in the small and this is actually currently my favorite fitting hoodie. The graphics, whatever, I mean, if I ever do uh, fork up the thousand dollars to get that like premium Disneyland pass, I will wear this every single time. But no, I really do like this. I don't think this is currently available anymore, but just a simple hoodie, nothing too wild, nothing too crazy. But next we got, there's a lot of at the moment in this video. I am very backed up on stuff, but I'll try to get through this pretty quick. We have another at the moment item right here. At the front, it says life's great at the moment with a glitter screen print. And uh, this hoodie is a size medium, definitely a different fit than the other one. And I know I'm not throwing stuff on body today, it's very cold outside. I live in the uh, high mountainous area, so hey man, whatevs. But next we have something that is actually the same print as the uh, shirt I showed you earlier, the At The Moment Roses shirt. And this is the hoodie. So we got the print right here on the back and the exact same quote is on the front that was on the uh, graphic tee. Next up, we'll move on to some sneakers. I bought these uh, Cream Chalk Ultra Boost from uh, Undefeated when they restocked. I think they were available on like Essence, Undefeated, um, Kith, and like a variety of uh, kind of websites like that. And I wanted these so bad in 2016, but I never got them. So then once like the end of 2018 rolled around and they re-released these, I was like, okay, cool. Like I finally got them, but I kind of forgot to an extent what the 1.0 Ultra Boosts fit like, and they are stupid tight. Like genuinely, I should have gone with a size 10. I went with a nine and a half, and yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna wear these ever. So these are brand new dead stock. I mean, hey, I finally got them, cool. Uh, they're gonna collect dust in my closet with the tag still on. Um, if any of you wanna buy these, just probably just hit me up, I guess, because I'm not gonna wear these. Or if you have a size 10 that are still dead stock, Hit me up if you need a nine and a half, but still, still cool. No hype on those at all, which is good. Even though they did sell out after like maybe six or seven days of being online. And then I finally got those um, cream uh, Club C85s from uh, Essence as well when they were having their sale still. And I got these in a nine and a half. Uh, those of you who remember, I did a video on some Club C85s that were sent by a subscriber and those were in a size nine. Uh, so they fit kind of tight like they didn't really fit all that well I had to take the insoles out these fit a hell of a lot better I also wear a nine and a half in vans for the most part So if you kind of wanted to gauge your sizing off of that uh, to go with the club C's that's kind of pretty accurate I would say but I really do like these even though I haven't worn them yet because it's been like raining It was snowing the other day So I haven't really had the opportunity to bust these out because they would have just gotten covered in mud in like two seconds But still pretty dope to me. The sale is over on essence already, but I think those are still available But now they're at full price and then next I just got these uh, vans vault slip-ons right here uh, They look the same as normal vans slip-ons like at least on camera, but there are some very minor improvements like they have uh, some different leather on the inside right here and then like a little leather like padding right here where the uh, heel would go and I also got these for like 50 to 60 percent off on essence I went with a size nine in these because I noticed like over time slip-ons really stretch out especially the elastic right here and my, my other pair that is a nine and a half they're just like super mad loose and they're like they're literally just like wearing fucking flip-flops at this point they're just flopping all over the place so I tried going with a nine in these and so far they fit but man they're really annoying like when they're when they're new I kind of forget how hard and uncomfortable vans are when you first uh, get them but still pretty cool you could probably find these vans vault ones on essence still as well but also once again at full price now and I also copped um even though the probably I don't know where they are right now I copped those uh, Gosha Adidas socks just cause like they were so cheap on Essence. And this was before the uh, Gosha controversy where he told that boy to take pictures of himself in the restroom. So I guess um, my pants will remain n uncuffed when wearing those socks uh, just in case <laughs> he's guilty of anything. But hey, maybe he's not, we don't really know at the moment. Next on this list is uh, two outerwear pieces I actually showed in my last video. I did like a quick little 
um, promo in the beginning, and I think I talked about it a little bit at the end, but here's like a closer look. This is the uh, YTG Safari print Sherpa, and I know for some of you it's actually already getting warmer, like the winter months are slowly coming to an end for some of you, but in all honesty, this is still probably my favorite piece of 2018, like the favorite thing I personally received, and I don't know, it's just so fire, like it's so unique. I've seen a couple of people style it and post pictures on Instagram, and I know some of you guys actually bought either this one or the uh, the camo version of this and showed me pictures that you purchased it uh, using the code Alex15, which is really dope. If you haven't, I think the code is still active, but I think they only have an oversized medium and an oversized large left in stock. I think this uh, small size is currently unavailable, and I am not sure if they are restocking, but I can get that information for you if you are interested. But yeah, no, this is just really dope. It's really unique and it reminds me of, um, I think like I said in the other video, like a public transportation bus seat, but I mean that like in the best way. Like, I don't know, it just reminds me of when I was a little kid and we used to take like the bus everywhere, like to LA and shit, uh, cause my mom didn't drive. But yeah, no, nah, that's a really random story, but no, nah, I really do like this. And uh, the second piece, which is also from YTG, I currently have covered in this plastic cause I didn't want it to get dirty but it is another Sherpa pullover, except this one is a three quarter zip, so it doesn't go all the way down. And this one's really dope as well. I would say the, the sizing is kind of different amongst both. I think I do still have a B-roll clip of me putting both of these on body. So, um, it turned out that I did not have the uh, clip. <laughs> um... These are both a size small. And yeah, overall, I would say that they're definitely worth the money. I personally really like them. Uh, there's a couple other items that they still sell that I wish I had, but unfortunately I don't. And I don't even think they have my size available anymore. But if you are interested, uh, make sure to shoot that code Alex15. I think it was, I don't really remember. If it doesn't work, also let me know because I think it still should. I don't know why it would be deactivated. But yeah, um, I have more stuff, but like I said, I packed it already, so unfortunately I am not gonna dig to the bottom of those boxes to get them out because all my boxes are stacked in my closet right now. But yeah, I don't know, it feels so weird to be on camera. They'll probably never see me again for a good while. Don't really care to be on camera to be honest. I'd rather just uh, come up with a short, sweet, simple video, release it, let it free into the world and uh, never appear on camera again. I don't know. But nah, uh, I hope all of you had a uh, great holiday season. I think I said that in my last video, but this one feels a bit more personal since I'm actually in it. And um, YouTube live streams coming soon. Follow me on Instagram so we can bullshit. I'll leave my Instagram link at the end of the video like I always do. But nah, make sure to, to hit me up on there. A lot of you guys have sending me all this uh, crazy wild shit that you guys like to talk about as well as some uh, inappropriate memes that I cannot post on this channel. But yeah, um, a lot of stuff planned for 2019. The Soldier Boy video is coming soon. I am very tired right now. I have no energy, but I promise if I do appear on camera again, I will have a bit more energy next time. But yeah, I think I said but yeah like 10 times. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a successful 2019 and accomplish all of your goals and dreams for the new year. Peace out, YouTube. Touching you. Touching me. Touching you. Hey!